Mondrian is one of the most famous uh, abstract artists in the world. But how he got there is the story of this exhibition. It's really extraordinary because he doesn't start off an abstract artist, but he engages with every single important development in modern art on the way to becoming the Mondrian that everyone thinks they know. His exploration of the potential and the possibilities of art was really, really exceptional, and it makes him one of the most important artists of the first half of the 20th century. You know, today people say Mondrian and they see these abstract paintings, these grid paintings, and they think that's him, but there was a whole lifetime before that. People think they know him, they think they know his art, but actually to see an exhibition of his work, you're taken through a real kaleidoscope of images, many of which you didn't realise were by Mondrian. I think we're so used to seeing them from graphic art and reproduced in posters and fridge magnets and flattened out, but when you look at the, those paintings in real life, you can see that the hand in them, you can see that the lines aren't quite straight. He didn't use mathematical formulas, he painted them. He was a very intuitive painter. He's always painting to find out more, to discover more about life, about himself, about spirituality, about nature. Nature underpins everything. He's an amazingly sensuous painter. You think he's going to be sort of rather cold-blooded and abstract, but he's absolutely the opposite. And that's why it's really worth seeing an exhibition of his work. You can get up close and have a look at how he wields the brush, how he works the colors, and the care, and actually the love, I think, and the sensitivity. For people who go, abstract art, I don't really get it. You can walk through art history, 20th century art history in this exhibition, I find. You know, it just gently guides you through. And then when you get to the abstract modern work, you think, how did I get there? But then you look back and you can see down at the end that journey. You really get to see Mondrian up close and intimately. It's a very intimate exhibition. It's a very beautiful exhibition. Well, it hasn't happened before and it won't happen again anytime soon. So this is really a unique opportunity to see a, a body of work by this great artist um, in Dublin for the very first time. Uh, he's a really great artist and you'll be very surprised about what you'll see in the exhibition. This feature is brought to you by Creative Ireland in partnership with RTE Supporting the Arts. Supporting artists. Supporting us.